Good morning, good morning. It's nice to see you all. Hello, my name's Connie Murphy. For any new people that are stopping by, uh, thank you very much. For all my subscribers, of course I appreciate you so much. And for any looky-loos, welcome to watch my video. Today I'm just gonna go to the uh, Walmart first and then I'm gonna go to Winco uh, Market and then I'm gonna go stop off at the 99 cent store. So if you'd like to come along with me and see what my haul is, uh, I'll see you there. <laughs> oh, and also I'm gonna show you uh, how I save money <laughs> at these three locations. Uh, just some tips you might wanna use, okay? So I'm on my way over to the office right now to put this video together. Okay, so this first shot is the new uh, lipstick tubes they have by Wet n Wild. Let me show you. So Wet n Wild has a new lipstick tube for $1.98. And I'm back to pick up some more of that red lipstick that I like. 98 cents. And I think that I told you that second tube that I showed you on the counter there uh, was very, very hydrating. So. Very nice. I'm gonna try their tinted hydrating. You girls have been talking a lot about it. Yeah, I was actually quite surprised how hydrating it was for such an inexpensive product. Now, as many of you know, I've been using uh, Safeguard soap for over 40 years. Uh, they changed the packaging a little bit here. They're talking about micellular water in this one. And uh, I'm hoping that it's white because I don't really like the beige colored ones. So I'm going to take a pack of that. So I took that pack of Safeguard home and when I got home, for some reason, I wanted to look at the ingredients and they changed the ingredients. Uh, I didn't see the coconut oil in there. I saw uh, water, aqua, and I saw soybean oil. And uh, so that's a little disappointing. <laughs> but because I've heard so many girls uh, say nice things about this Dove uh, body wash, I took a bottle home and I've been using it and it's actually quite nice. It's a very, very gentle scrub. Uh, I am used to a little bit heavier scrub, but it smells wonderful. So that ended my tour <laughs> to uh, Walmart. Now I'm going over to uh, the market and I'll show you what I bought over there. And I've got a choice between cherry pie and apple pie. Apple pie is seven grams of sugar and the cherry pie is 27 grams of sugar. Guess which one I'm gonna choose. <laughs> so for all my, uh, you know, regular viewers, I'm sure you knew which one I picked because like I said, seven grams for serving for the apple pie, but 27 grams of sugar for the cherry pie. So, I took the apple pie home. <laughs> so here I'm going to get some strawberries and some bananas. Did you know if you eat a banana before you go to bed, you'll sleep so much better? Mm -hmm. What I'm showing you here are Roma tomatoes. And the reason why I like the Roma tomatoes is because they're not full of water. It's all firm tomato. A couple of yams. I said to get three of them. Oh, and by the way, I happen to think the red yams taste a lot sweeter than the beige lamp, beige ones, you know. One is red, one is beige. <laughs> I'll get two boxes of these, a dollar 20 less than these. They're all the same to me. I've tried these and they're good. So that is a dollar and 20 cents difference for those shredded wheats. And the ones that I buy, the generic ones, are very, very good. And they are whole grain also. These are the quantities that I buy. And these are the same size, the ones on the top shelf, and they're $1.84. I think that's a nice savings. And so now I'm gonna show you the comparisons of the ramen noodles as opposed to the uh, Thai noodles. Okay, watch the ingredients. And this is the Thai noodle soup. Uh, I always buy the lemongrass and chili. 
So I guess now when uh, so many people ask me, how do you stay so trim? Like my in-laws did when I saw them for the 4th of July uh, pool party. This is an example of how I eat. <laughs> now these next green chilies that I'm going to show you are the ones that I used to make my chili rellenos. But they didn't have the whole ones today. These are all uh, diced. But I'm going to show you the comparison in the prices for the same size can. All right, this is a smaller can of a generic at 69 cents. But they'll be just as tasty when you buy the whole ones. These dice ones on the bottom are $1.21 and the other ones, same size, were 69 cents. Now, when it comes to butter, I want the real thing. I don't want any wax in me. <laughs> and this is what I prefer. If you buy these Asian uh, frozen vegetables, you want to get the ones that say vegetable stir fry. You can see what's in there. They have other kinds, but this is the one I buy. Now here's a great comparison of hamburger meat. I buy the only 7% fat. Don't have a picture of that, I don't know why, but I'll show you the other two. And uh, it's about $5 for the pound. Yeah, everything's gone up. But if you buy three pounds, they do have a three pound size, you save about 75 cents. <laughs> Let me show you the hamburger. So to tell you the truth, there's not really a whole lot of difference between the light whipped cream and the regular whipped cream. But every little bit of fat that you don't eat is fat that you don't need. <laughs> so now I'm looking at all the different ice creams and of course, we don't eat much of that. And they were all out of my husband's favorite, sugar-free uh, tropical pops. So I didn't buy anything. But I did get a box of these for me. <laughs> and of course, you know, as you're leaving the market, they have all the sweet stuff, right? Uh, let me tell you a story about glazed donuts. And I'm walking past the bakery. Mm -hmm. Now, Glaze used to be my favorite donut. But one time I saw a gal on TV and she wanted to show why she doesn't eat them. She took one in her hand and squeezed it and there was grease dripping out of her palm and I went, ugh. And I've had a hard time eating them ever since. That's been over 30 years. So this was my haul. And you know, I don't think I'd been to the market for at least a year, maybe a year and a half. Okay, I'm done at the market. Then I went right across the street and just got a few things that I always buy over there. I'm at the 99 cent store, but I went to get garlic sourdough bread. They didn't have it, so I took a whole wheat loaf. The 99 cent store? Almost out here. I've never seen the cashier pack someone's bags before. <laughs> and I always stop to smell the beautiful flowers that the 99 cent store has. And you get a bunch for $5. They're as pretty as the ones you see at Costco's, really. <laughs> and that was my day. It was actually quite a relaxing one, considering I hadn't gone, like I said, grocery shopping for about a year and a half. Uh, of course, I always try to make it to the 99 cent store at least once every couple of weeks, because they have specific things that I like at a great price. And uh, same with Walmart. You know, once in a while I get over there. Used to go more often when Mama was alive, but, uh, not so much anymore. Anyway, uh, I hope that you learned something for you gals that don't really look at labels. And uh, I mean, even if you've got a bundle of cash in your pocket, why not save the extra pennies? <laughs> I know people don't pick pennies up off the floor when they see them, but I do. And uh, it's a funny thing about money that's on the ground because my sister always seems to find quarters or, you know, bigger coins. <laughs> anyway, so uh, once again, my name is Connie Murphy. I hope you uh, stayed to watch the whole video. If not, that's okay. <laughs> I uh, hope that you will stop by and maybe check me out for another one. Okay? Just press the button and it'll let you know when I'm returning with the video. Um, for my regulars, you know, I'm watching you all the time. And I try to comment to everybody, 
And uh, I certainly comment to everybody who drops a comment to me, you know, first. So uh, until I see you on my next video, or your eyeballs, this is Connie Murphy saying, have a wonderful week. Thank you for stopping by. Adios. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. Connie Murphy. Bye.